Hello Virgo, welcome to your you and them love reading. I'm going to be looking at your connection, how you feel about each other, and what's going to happen next in your connection and in your future. As always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Virgo watching. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You'll know soon enough if this is your reading, but if it's not, then that's okay. Just check out my playlist for Virgo. I'll have it linked up in the cards. All right, Virgo, let's get into this for Virgo Spirit. Messages for Virgo regarding love for Virgo. All right, Virgo, we'll be looking at what's going on in your connection. What's the energy surrounding Virgo? Spirit, what's the energy surrounding Virgo in love? This reading will be for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind for Virgo. All right, Virgo. What's the energy surrounding Virgo at this time? This one. Strong bonds, family, union, partnership, strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. Someone's being influenced by family ties or a partnership or a union here. What else? What else for Virgo? Victory lap. Success, recognition, triumph. You're being recognized and admired for your success. I think you're going to have victory in whatever you try to do here. We'll see. This could also be victory within a specific bond or partnership. So let's get into this. So for this reading, I'm going to have one deck for you, Virgo, and one deck for your person. Okay. I'm going to have Virgo on this side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more. All right, let's look at you first, Virgo. Spirit, tell me about Virgo. Tell me about Virgo. What are they thinking or feeling at this time regarding this person or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to this person or this connection? Virgo's energy, please. What are they thinking or feeling? Oh, okay. We got the Page of Cups. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to this other person? Death reversed, Scorpio energy. Tell me more about Virgo's energy. What are they thinking or feeling about this person or this connection? Knight of Cups reverse. Heartbreak, disappointment. So you could be apologizing here. Resisting the ending or the change of something. Hmm. Let's get an energy oracle for you with the animal spirit deck. Tell me more about Virgo, please. Tell me more about Virgo's energy. In this connection. Me more about Virgo's energy. So I am going to clarify all of these cards, but I'm going to set your energy first and then your person's energy before I do that. Tell me about Virgo's energy, please. Virgo. Dragonfly. Illusion. Let me look real quick. I always have to look just to make sure because there's butterfly, dragonfly, and firefly in this deck. Yeah, master of light, illusion, and the mind. A symbol of the mind, always moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. The situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance. Calm the mind so the light of wisdom can shine through. 
So you were probably distracted by an illusion or there's possibly an illusion right now. You need, you need to see a situation clearly or a person clearly. So we'll see what that's all about when I clarify. But let's get into your person. Tell me about Virgo's person. What are you thinking or feeling about Virgo or this connection spirit? What are you thinking? What are you thinking or feeling about Virgo or this connection spirit? Knight of Wands reverse. What are they thinking or feeling? Four of Pentacles. This person is holding back or holding on to something here. Knight of Wands reverse. Typically, this is someone that you can't count on. Um, they're in and out, they don't stay for long. They jump into things without, like impulsively, without thinking. Um, so this person could be looking at you in that way. Or maybe this is their behavior or their energy at this time. Tell me more. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Virgo or this connection? Two of Swords reverse. What's this? The Hangman. Interesting. They're looking at the situation differently. No movement, but they they looked at a situation with a different set of eyes or in a different angle. And I feel like it helped them make a decision here that was maybe difficult with the Two of Swords reverse. And they're holding back or holding on to something. Let's see. But first, let me get an energy oracle for them. Tell me more about their energies, this person that Virgo is dealing with. Tell me more about their energies, please. What are this person's energies, this person that's dealing with Virgo's turtle? This person is very adaptable. They've had a lot of life experience. Grounded. They collect life experiences under their shells for later use. Adventurous, productive. I thought of a traveler when I saw this card. And it's funny because, the, I mean, this card does have something to do with travel. You know, it says here... Um, they're grounded and connected no matter where their travels lead them. So I feel like this is someone who has gone under their own journey and has learned along the way. They can't sit still. <laughs> it's just something I'm getting. So, okay. So this person could be somebody that travels a lot or has gone through, you know, a journey that's taken them different places. So let's clarify. Let's get into the nitty gritty of both of you here. Now, as, like I said earlier, feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. All right, Virgo, let's see. Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? Five of Wands, conflict, arguments, disagreements. Tell me about the Page of Cups. So you could be um, definitely apologizing here. This could be an apology. Yeah, judgment. Wanting a second chance, a resurrection, a revival of something. Yeah, I feel like this is definitely like, 
either you want to apologize or you're expecting them to apologize, maybe desiring an apology from them. Why is death reverse? Why is death reverse? Three of Wands, waiting. So you've been waiting for something. You haven't been able to close a chapter or end a cycle because you're still waiting for something. Tell me about death reverse. Four of cups. And as you've been waiting, there's been dissatisfaction. So you're not open to something new because you're still in this, whatever this is. Whatever it is, it has something to do with feelings, emotions, love. I have the King of Cups here. So it's like emotionally, you're not open to new opportunities. Um, you're still focused on something that is, I feel, in the past or, or is already in front of you. You can't see anything coming in or, you know, you're not waiting for anything else because you're waiting for something here specifically. Maybe you're waiting for this apology. Maybe you're waiting for this person, this second chance. Tell me about this Knight of Cups reverse. As the Knight of Cups reverse. Page of Swords. Communication. Observing someone here, watching. Tell me about the Knight of Cups reverse. The moon reverse, clear. Okay, so this probably is about knowing something. The moon reverse, Pisces energy, some, some sort of secret being revealed or an illusion here being seen clearly. Bottom of the deck, I have the ace of pentacles. So this is regarding some sort of opportunity. Why is the moon reverse? Why is the moon reverse? This one wants to come out. Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's like someone's been... Um, they haven't given up on this. Whatever this is, you... Because I'm going to say you because I'm clarifying your energies here. For You know, this is Virgo for me. Um, there's something here that you haven't given up on. You're still waiting for something to happen here. It hasn't ended for you. Um, and maybe this has been an illusion all this time. Or maybe you've been waiting for clarity and you haven't gotten it. You know, and it's been difficult. I have the Three of Swords here. It's like you're waiting for an opportunity, but it hasn't arrived. Tell me if that's resonating in the comments. So let's see, what about your person? Tell me about Virgo's person. Help me clarify, Spirit. These energies for Virgo, please. And their person. Why is the Knight of Wands reversed? You know, this Nine of Wands reverse with this turtle, they kind of like are going together. A lot of, um, I'm picturing someone that can't sit still, can't sit down, you know, has been moving a lot or going through different, you know, phases in life or something like that. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? We'll see if I'm right about that. I might be completely wrong, so we'll see. Why is the Knight of uh, Wands reverse? Spirit? Ten of Wands reverse. And funny because this person, if you in this deck, they're traveling. <laughs> carrying burdens with them on their journey. But this is reverse now. So the baggage is being dropped, the burden is being dropped. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? The chariot reverse, no longer moving. Cancer energy here. This is someone that is stuck. 
uh, maybe switching direction altogether. There's no movement here. Can I get one more, please, for the Ten of Wands reverse and the Cherry reverse? So I'm getting someone that was moving around a lot or moving in a specific direction and they stopped. Tell me more about these two energies, please. Why? Queen of Swords reverse. What's at the bottom of the deck here? Five of Swords reverse. Knight of Cups reverse. The Sun reverse. So this is someone that is not happy or is dealing with someone that's not fun to deal with. Maybe this person was moving around too much or, or moving in the wrong direction or is feeling stuck in a situation that they jumped into and dealing with someone difficult. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords reverse. Now I'm intrigued. Why is this Queen of Swords reverse? This is Queen of Swords Reverse. King of Wands. Interesting. So what I'm getting is this is someone that wants to take some sort of action. They're attracted to something. They want something. They want to make a bold move. But I feel like they're prevented from doing so. So that's probably what this means. The Knight of Wands reverse. The Chariot reverse. Ten of Wands reverse. They want to move forward and drop a certain baggage or burden. And then I feel like they're being... Like there's resistance here to them going after what they want. What does this King of Wands want? What does this King of Wands want? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, they have a wish. The, the star, Aquarius energy. This person has a wish, a hope, something that drives them. Tell me more about this star. Tell me more about this star. Justice. They want justice. They might, want, they might be wanting to heal something, make something right here. With justice and the star. Have things be fair and balanced. Make things right. And then I have the eight of pentacles behind that. So they want to work on something here. So you're a person. And I think this is regarding you. They have some sort of wish or attraction towards you, Virgo. They want to make things right with you. So why is the four of pentacles here? Why is the... Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Knight of Pentacles. Wow. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? The Empress Reverse. Okay, I'm not going to take these, but I'm going to look at them. The Temperance card reverse and Five of Cups reverse. So something's not coming together here with the Temperance card reverse, Sagittarius energy. Something needs more time, more energy, more effort to make it work. And this is about recovering something that's missing. So with the Knight of Pentacles, this is going to take some time for this person. because the, And then also the Empress is reversed. So um, I feel like it's going to be affecting someone. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. One more, please, for this Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this is going to take more effort. Eight of Pentacles. They're working on this. And that takes time. Your person is working on something, Virgo. And it's like they're holding back or holding on to something while they're working. You know, maybe they're holding on to the hope, the, the wish that they have. Holding on to this idea of an opportunity or an offer that they want to make here with the Knight of Pentacles. So why is the Two of Swords reverse? Why is the Two of Swords reverse? The 
the Hermit Reverse. There you are, Virgo. Here's the Two of Swords Reverse. Judgment Reverse. So this is someone that, um... Judgment Reverse, Judgment on this side. So this, this Judgment, this Second Chance, rever Resurrection, Revival that I feel you're waiting for, it's still not happening. Uh, it's delayed. Tell me about the Two of Swords Reverse. I feel like someone hasn't been able to make a certain decision here. Ooh, the Lovers Reverse, Gemini Energy. And then I have the Ten of Pentacles Reverse. Wow. You could be dealing with someone that's already in a commitment. Or maybe you're in a commitment. A different choice must be made here with the lovers reverse. Someone here, I feel, jumped into something they shouldn't have. They, they, and I think it might have been you. Because I have, you have the dragonfly. But I feel like this person has also been through a lot too. So it could be them as well. Um, Virgo, Gemini energy here. Um, this is someone that has regret over a choice or needs to have some sort of separation here. So I feel like, you know, that is needing to happen. Yeah, for a new opportunity. I have the Ace of Pentacles right behind that. And then the tower. Holy crap. See what I'm saying here? So where's all of this headed? Where's all of this headed? So I'm going to pick a couple cards here for what's next. In the near future. What's next for Virgo and this other person? What's next? What's next for Virgo? Seven of Cups reversed. What's next for Virgo and this other person? This could be a, a choice among many. Four of Cups. I feel like someone's still waiting here. Literally, this. Someone's like waiting. This could be you, Virgo, here, because you have Four of Cups on this side. It's like you're waiting for this other person to make a choice. What's next? What's next for Virgo and this other person? Seven of Swords. Wow. Bottom of the deck, the Eight of Wands. Before I wrap this up, I forgot to pick some cards here for your person. What do they secretly think or feel about you? What is this person secretly thinking or feeling about Virgo? I forgot. <laughs> This is my secret moon oracle. What is this person secretly thinking or feeling about Virgo's spirit? I want a second chance and you make me happy. Yes. I want you at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so this person wants a second chance. That's the judgment card. Um, there's a choice that needs to be made. And I feel like this choice is going to be sneaky. Um, I feel like it's going to affect a third person. Especially in this deck. There's three people in this card. Uh, so I feel like there's going to be someone that's going to make a certain choice here. And you're it's like you've been waiting for this person to make a choice. And I feel like there's going to be some sort of movement here with the Eight of Wands. Communication, movement, action. And this person needing, is they're moving slowly, this other person. Because there's some sort of interference here and it could be a long-term commitment or you have the interference. Take it as it resonates. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it here, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings and want to see more. Leave me a comment if, you, if this resonated for you. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.